An essay concerning human understanding is a work by John Locke concerning the foundation of human knowledge and understanding. It first appeared in 1689, although dated 1690, with the printed title An Essay Concerning Human Understanding. He describes the mind at birth as a blank slate, tabula rasa, although he did not use those actual words, filled later through experience. The essay was one of the principal sources of empiricism in modern philosophy, and influenced many Enlightenment philosophers, such as David Hume and George Berkeley. Book I of the essay is Locke's attempt to refute the rationalist notion of innate ideas. Book II sets out Locke's theory of ideas, including his distinction between passively acquired simple ideas, such as red, sweet, round, etc., and actively built complex ideas, such as numbers, causes and effects abstract ideas, ideas of substances, identity, and diversity. Locke also distinguishes between the truly existing primary qualities of bodies, like shape, motion and the arrangements of minute particles, and the secondary qualities that are powers to produce various sensations in us such as red and sweet. These secondary qualities, Locke claims, are dependent on the primary qualities. He also offers a theory of personal identity, offering a largely psychological criterion. Book 3 is concerned with language, and Book 4 with knowledge, including intuition, mathematics, moral philosophy, natural philosophy, science, faith, and opinion. Many of Locke's views were sharply criticized by rationalists and empiricists alike. In 1704 the rationalist Gottfried Leibniz wrote a response to Locke's work in the form of a chapter-by-chapter -chapter rebuttal, the Nouveau Essay sur l'entendement humain, New Essays on Human Understanding. Leibniz was critical of a number of Locke's views in the essay, including his rejection of innate ideas, his skepticism about species classification, and the possibility that matter might think, among other things.